good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the video in this video i'll be teaching you how to essentially iterate or get data from apache hoodie tables in an incremental fashion on aws glue so stay tuned in this video we are going to build a sample hoodie table and then i will be showing you how to use the python utility class that i wrote and perform incremental queries and access data in an incremental fashion so without wasting any further time let's get started with the video so the first step is pretty straightforward um, you know we are going to create a very simple hoodie table with some fake data and then i'm going to show you how to essentially iterate over the uh, the data in an incremental fashion so in order to learn how to you know uh, process data incrementally from hoodie tables we need a hoodie table right so again i have a very simple script all it does is basically calls a library called faker and generate some fake data this is going to generate some fake data in a folder samil shah hoodie demos inside the folder silver and the table name is going to be employees so what we want to do is copy this code paste the code over here click save go to the job details make sure the glue version is 4.0 as you can see and then scroll down head over to the job parameters make sure uh, the data lake format is hoodie the additional python module is faker and we're going to pass this configuration so what we're going to do is we're going to click on save and now we are going to run the job as you can see now the job is in the running state over here as you can see now i'm going to pause the video and resume once the job is complete again this is going to create some hoodie table for me so i can show you how to uh, you know uh, perform incremental uh, data processing my job is finally complete as you can see i took about 2 minutes and 38 second and now i can see the hoodie tables on my s3 as you can see and if i simply open up these are some parquet files and the hoodie metadata uh, at this point i can also run ad hoc queries as you can see this is my data now that we have a hoodie table now let me show you how to query this uh, and access the data in an incremental fashion just like glue bookmark right we want to process data uh, incrementally which means anytime new data comes in i want to only get that new data so let me show you that particular process now now i want to make uh, you know the process easy right so i have written a python helper utility class which we are going to use now let's see how to access or read data from these hoodie tables in an incremental fashion so let me show you that particular process now in order to learn incremental uh, you know um, processing uh, copy paste the code that is given to you on the github and now let's see how to use this so the first thing that you need to do is provide the bucket name this is going to be used for checkpointing purposes meaning the next time when you run uh, it's going to resume from that particular commit and it's going to perform an incremental query so that bucket is used for checkpointing purposes so this is all you got to do again i made it very very easy for you right so all you got to do is provide in um, uh, 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 an object over here you you can basically query 1 2 3 4 how many ever hoodie tables you want in an incremental fashion all you got to do is provide the table name right so you got to put the table name and then you got to provide the hoodie path where is your you know table like so in my case it's in the bucket called samil shah hoodie demos inside the folder called silver and the table name is going to be employees the type is going to be incremental right so this this is all you got to do right and after that once you do that now you can run simple spark sql query right so i'm calling a function called load hoodie tables which takes in these uh, json object and again it's pretty simple if you use the word full over here it's going to read the full data right if you want to do incremental all you got to do is just put incremental So if you see over here all I do is I iterate over the items and then I check the type if the type is full or if the type is incremental I could probably use an enum but I want to keep it easy for now right so again depending upon uh, what what you want to do so again in this case I want to do incremental so I I will say type as incremental and then here you can basically write your business queries or joins right so if you have 1 2 3 hoodie tables uh, this is going to create a temp view and now you can query these tables uh, you can do join and do whatever you want uh, after that so what we are going to do over here is we going to copy paste this code over here right and then we're going to head over here uh, we're going to go to the glue and i'm going to dump the code over here and i'm going to save it again remember we will see uh, um, a spark we are, we are essentially printing the data frame so we will see that on the console okay i'm going to save this and now i'm going to simply run the, the run the job so as you can see my job is now in the running state and once the job is complete i will show you the logs 
After that, again, I'm going to run the same job. So it should resume from the last uh, checkpoint and it's going to perform an incremental query. And in this case, in the next time, we are not going to see data since we have already processed it. So let me pause the video and resume once it is complete. So my job is finally complete. As you can see, it's now in the succeeded state. And if I go back to the CloudWatch and here you can see I am able to see my hoodie data frame, which I just read right now. So I also want to show you that this is going to create a checkpoint on S3. So let me show you that process. So if we go back to the S3 and if I refresh, here you can see a folder called metadata. What I'm going to do is quickly download this file just to show you, right? So if I do show in folder and if I quickly do notepad plus, right? So, all right. So if you observe, uh, it basically stores all the metadata and the last commit it stores on S3. So now when I run this glue job again, I should not see any data because uh, again, there's no new data, right? So let's test that particular part, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna go to the run and I'm simply gonna run the job again. The job is in the running state, as you can see over here. Now, it's you will see in the console that it resumed uh, from the checkpoint and it's gonna perform an incremental query and you're not gonna see any data because you don't have any data, right? So let's very 